Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have the VK World S8 full review. This smartphone is an absolute bargain on Gearbest at the moment for only £132. And for such a budget price, VK World have done pretty well, especially in terms of design. It's a six inch display with an Incel IPS, including 2.5D Corning Gorilla Glass 4. Both the front and the back of this device are glass, uh, where at first I thought the back was plastic, and it's also surrounded by a titanium frame, and it is a solid phone when you hold it. It's um, very, very well built. The display is super, super sharp, with 2160 by 1080p resolution, and also with that screen ratio of 18 by nine. The screen is one of the plus points in this smartphone, and one of my favorites. Has a good bright display outdoors, and when you reduce the brightness down, uh, you can struggle to um, to see some of the icons, but they're just about there. But that's perfect for nighttime when you're when you're reading in the dark. The level of brightness is fairly low. VK World S8 has both fingerprint sensor and Face ID. Uh, fingerprint sensor is accurate, but it is a little bit on the slower side to what I'm used to. Um, but all the same, it's still accurate. Same with Face ID. Face ID in good, well-lit conditions, it does find your face quite easily. Uh, might be a little bit quicker, actually, uh, to unlock through face than it is fingerprint. But some people argue the fact that fingerprint is obviously more secure. Both of these do work, but I'd like to see a little bit more speed to it myself. VK World have done an absolute brilliant job, like I said, in terms of design. It does look excellent. It feels excellent in the hand, and it doesn't feel cheap at all. Both the front and the back glass are hard wearing. I've not experienced any scratches or marks on it as, as of yet. And that's with over a week's use. So that Gorilla Glass 4 on the front is definitely helping on there. Has USB Type-C connector at the bottom. I did find that if you do use other USB Type-C cables, uh, they can fall a little bit short into the connector and fall out. The one that comes with VK World S8 is slightly longer. But the VK World S8 in terms of design is worth £135 alone. It is probably one of my most favourites that I've had over the past few months. So let's have a look at this camera then, shall we? It's advertised that the rear camera was 16 megapixel and the front was 13 megapixel. And that is confirmed in the device info app that I have here. Also the vendors, they've got an Omnivision uh, sensor and a Galaxy Core as well. I was quite pleased with the overall performance of the camera. You do get some quite decent shots and detail is still there even when zooming in. Obviously it does get a little bit softer. Um, it's only when you get poor lighting conditions that um, a little bit of blur does start to set in uh, when taking pictures. Obviously this is a, um, a movie I was taking pictures of so some of the stuff is quite fast moving on there. I was trying to capture a still image that's probably the, the least blurred image I found on there. Um, but in low light, you do get a little bit of blur if your subject is not still. I mean, that's indoor shot, obviously, with artificial lighting. And that's not too bad. Great colours. A little bit of fuzziness setting in there when you zoom in. I quite like the front-facing camera as well, though. It's only... 480p when recording front facing video it's still acceptable so here are some pictures and video guys let me know what you think So I've enabled EIS at the moment, so I'm going to walk around. It looks quite steady actually.
Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Now this is where it turned off. Um, what are you doing? This is where it turned off, I'm not sure. There's definitely a difference. Quality is not bad. Morning, Aria. How are you today? Hey? What you got there? Oh! Daddy dropped his phone. Oh, I'm sorry. That's it. Press the green button. Ooh. Front facing camera is quite nice on this, isn't it? Where are you going? Huh? <laughs> this is a dark area. Absolutely no lights on in here at all. And it is rather grainy. But I've definitely seen worse. Okay. Okay, front facing camera. Don't like that, um, don't like the lens down at the bottom there. Don't like it at all. You get your thumb and fingers in the way. Um, but this is the quality. This is what you're going to get. It's not too bad. So the S8 has a 5,500 milliamp battery. So I was expecting decent results from this. And in the screenshot pictured here, you can see that the phone was off charge for 16 hours. So 16 hours off the battery and screen on time on this day was seven hours and 52 minutes. I managed to get full use out of the battery every single day. So I'm very, very happy that battery life on that. This was the second best, seven hours and eight minutes. Again, another full day's use. So pretty, pretty good. So the S8 has an octa-core processor, four gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of storage. And performance wise, this doesn't batter an eyelid. Performance is quite reasonable. And the OS, pretty cool features. You have some themes. Obviously you can change wallpaper. These little slide effects as well. You can change them. Some cool little fancy features if you like them. Uh, but no, performance wise is pretty rapid. And if you've got a good internet connection as well, then apps open up quite easily and quite fast. So I was very pleased with that. And while I'm here, let's do a 4G speed test. So I'm on the EE network, 4G, it's nearly full strength. Let's see what we get. Yep, that's not too bad at all. 10 down and 12 up. I don't live in a, in a built up area or that close to real fast 4G connections, but I manage okay with that and that's a good speed for me. So we come to the GPS, this is a screenshot of when I was out and about the other day, 13 satellites in use, accuracy was 13 foot, uh, which I was expecting a little bit better. I've had around six foot on other phones before that, but if you have a look at the GPS footage as well, besides this, I'd never had any issues with the GPS when navigating from here to there. Didn't go off course, and didn't really stutter or anything. So although it says accuracy 13 foot, actually in real life when actually using it in the navigation process, it was absolutely fine. Now, I really love this IPS display on the BK World S8. And it makes watching movies or shows or playing video games that little bit better. Nice bit of nature there. A 
brilliant display on the S8. So the S8 has the Mali T860 GPU. And I've been playing these sort of games lately. It also shows at the top there the frame rates, the current frame rate in the actual game. Now this can go anything up from 60 down to, I think down to 15 or 20 at times. Um, but even in games like this, gameplay does seem to be quite smooth. That's at 44 now. 57 frames per second. It does sort of jump. And I'm rubbish, absolutely rubbish at these games. I'm absolutely crap. I give up, absolutely shit. But gameplay, guys, is smooth. And the VK world does get a little bit warm. It's getting warm already. Uh, but I've not had it extremely hot. I think I'll stick to my racing games in future. I only picked this game because it shows um, frames per second. Go on, I've killed someone. I've done it. Frames per second. That's around about 50 frames per second there as well. Um, but this guy is absolutely fine. Just going to show you some of the audio quickly on the S8. The loudspeaker um, does reach some decent levels. Quite a loud loudspeaker on this smartphone. Um, the quality is, is all right, could be a little bit better. A little bit of a distortion does kick in if the audio is a little loud. Okay guys, so this concludes my review on the VK World S8 smartphone. I really, really like this smartphone. £135 and there's not a lot wrong with it at all. Camera again could be a little bit better. Um, but it's nearly it's nearly the complete phone for such a, a decent price. If they chucked NFC in there, improved the camera. That would be an absolute gem, it really would. Minus all that, it is still a decent smartphone for a very, very good price. And the sharp 1080p display is one of the better parts of me on this smartphone. Very, very nice. The back glass obviously does pick up fingerprints, but they buffer off quite easily. Like that. And... It looks a stunner, it really does. Please comment below, guys, if you have any questions or anything down below. There are links in the description if you want to take a look. I think it's in the flash sale at the moment as well. Obviously, any purchases, I do get a small commission, so it does help the channel. So I'm also nearly hitting 10,000 subscribers. I'm at 9,980 at the time of this, uh, this video. And... I'm absolutely over the moon. I can't wait to hit 10,000. Um, I've nearly been doing it for two years now. Um, I'm very, very happy with the way it's going. Next goal after that is to get to 50,000 and then to 100,000. It might be a slow hog, but uh, I'll get there in the end. And obviously, I couldn't have done it without all of you guys, all the subscribers. So I want to thank you a lot for that as well. But I'm going to wrap this video up, guys. Please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you very soon, hopefully with 10,000 subscribers. See you then.